Jacques Chevalier is the first vessel in a new class of logistic support ships for the French Navy. I covered it extensively in the shipyard at Saint-Nazaire last year, but today in Toulon, we're talking to the commanding officer to get his feedback as the vessel took part in his first deployments. Captain Ginefri, good morning. Good morning, sir. You were the commanding officer of uh, Jacques Chevalier. I say were because uh, you're stepping uh, down uh, today. Uh, during a change of command ceremony uh, this morning. Uh, you took part on uh, that to a long duration deployment with the vessel. Uh, the vessel was delivered about a year ago, almost day for day, uh, by uh, Naval Group and Chantier de, de l'Atlantique. Uh, after following your long duration deployment, uh, you escorted the French Carrier Strike Group during an operational mission called uh, Mission Aquila. Uh, can you please share your feedback with us first uh, regarding the long duration deployment? Uh, the first, uh, this uh, long deployment, uh, long duration deployment had uh, two goals, two aims. First, uh, test the ship uh, in various environments, so meteorological environments. So we had to test the uh, to ship in uh, cold waters, uh, north of uh, Iceland, hot waters in the Caribbean uh, Sea, uh, roof waters also uh, in uh, north of uh, Iceland. Um, but we had also to test the ship in uh, challenging operational environments. And uh, that's what we uh, we did uh, in January uh, by crossing uh, Babel Monday by the, the Red Sea. And for sure, the ship is uh, uh, reaches all the the goals or the aims uh, uh, that uh, are the needs of the French Navy. During these deployments, you uh, interacted quite a bit with uh, uh, allied units, uh, such as the, the US Navy, you called in, uh, in Norfolk as well. Uh, can you tell us more? Uh, yes, we had uh, various, uh, various interactions with uh, Allied. Uh, US Navy first, uh, we, had, uh, we, we, have a rep we had a replenishment at sea with uh, USS George Washington. It was the first large, very large uh, aircraft carrier uh, uh, for, for us as a customer, uh, with HMS uh, Prince of Wales also. Um, it was for drill, for exercise uh, off the Norfolk coast, but a few weeks, a few months later, we were in the Red Sea and we had to uh, replenish uh, USS Eisenhower. Uh, and for us, it's very interesting because it allows us to test the capabilities of the ship to, to supply a very large aircraft carrier, such as the uh, next uh, uh, a French uh, aircraft carrier. And as you mentioned, so you went through a hotspot, uh, you sailed through the Red Sea, uh, the Babel Mended shock points uh, on your way back to uh, mainland France. Uh, the Houthi rebels uh, are constantly atta attacking uh, maritime traffic uh, through those waters. Uh, first, did you have to, threat, uh, to face any threats? And uh, second, do you feel like uh, the new systems fitted on your vessel, uh, the new weapon systems such as uh, rapid fire, the CMOD RC, which are new for the French Navy, or sensor systems such as a uh, Paseo XLR or even a long range acoustic device, uh, are those the right answer to uh, counter those emerging uh, threats? Yes, the, the threat was uh, here when we. Uh passed through uh, Babel Mandeb in January, but we, we were not uh, targeted at this time. Um, anyway, we had to be ready. So uh, during a few weeks, we have to switch from a, a surveyor equipage, a surveyor crew, uh, to a combat proven crew. Uh, it was uh, quite challenging to, to learn how to operate those systems under threats. Uh, to train the, uh, the crew and to be sure that we operate them in the good way. And for sure, the, the president officer that de designed this ship a few hours ago uh, knew that uh, this ship would have to face very uh, high intensity threats and um, the ship is able to operate under those kind of threats. That, that sure. Uh, it was proven during the, this. Uh, these uh, deployments and after during the Aquila deployment. So that's the most recent uh, deployment during which uh, you were part of the French Carrier Strike Group. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, 
So during this deployment, there was a high intensity exercise uh, in combination with the Italian Navy, so Maria Perto and uh, Polaris. So what, uh, what did you achieve during uh, this, uh, this deployment? I believe uh, you, with the French Navy, experimented a number of uh, firsts, uh, such as uh, resupplying, reloading uh, the aircraft carrier with uh, Aster missiles while underway, which is, which is quite a unique uh, feat. As yes, this uh, short but intense uh, deployment uh, was a very good opportunity to test the ship in a task force. The long uh, duration deployments, we were alone and we are going from a uh, task force to another one. Here, we were in charge of the supply of all the task force of the carrier strike group. Uh, we had to perform maybe 40, uh, 45 uh, replenishment at sea in a, uh, one month uh, and a half. Uh, and replenishment at sea, that, that was uh, the first, like uh, you said, uh, for example, the Aster replenishment. Uh, which is a team work. We provide the missile and the shard of the goal is able to put it uh, then uh, in, uh, in its system. Uh, the old maneuver is the first. Yes. And then in Toulon, uh, not underway, but in port, so uh, burst, uh, you uh, tested the reloading of uh, VLS uh, with uh, Frigate Lorraine as well. Uh, yes, uh, it was not something that was uh, asked by the Navy a few hours ago, uh, but uh, uh, the, the, the operational situation uh, shows that it's very important to be autonomous for this uh, replenishment, and uh, the ship uh, is able and the crew uh, to outthink uh, the, the problems, uh, because there are a lot of various problems, it seems to be simple, uh, but it's not. And yes, we are able to replenish a VLS uh, of frigate, and that's a very important uh, capability. Uh, those are new capabilities. Uh, the Jacques Chevalier is much heavier, much longer uh, compared to the Durance class that it's uh, replacing. So new capabilities for the French Navy. Why is this uh, important and why, for example, the reloading of uh, missiles at sea or in, uh, in port uh, matters for the, for the French Navy in a high intensity uh, scenario? A high intensity scenario is a, is a way to say that we have to shoot a lot. So if you shoot a lot, you have to replenish a lot. Uh, and we cannot allow ourselves to, to send back a frigate uh, as soon as, uh, as, as uh, she has shot uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, 10, 20, uh, 30 missiles. Uh, it's very important to stay in the operation, uh, in the area of operation. So it's our work to be there in the area of operation. It's our concept of operation uh, that is uh, allowed uh, by uh, the fact that we are uh, we have a very uh, robust uh, self-defense uh, system. We have a CIC room that allows us to understand what we uh, what is uh, around us and to fit the logistic uh, maneuvers with the uh, uh, st uh, operational situation. And lastly, you can do this, uh, you can support uh, submarines as well, which again is new uh, for the French Navy. Yes, we can support them by uh, a lot of ways, electricity, uh, air and so on. Uh, but also we can resupply uh, ammunition, which is uh, also first. And you tested that with both uh, the former class, uh, Ruby class, and the new uh, Supran class. Yes, both classes. Captain Ginefri, thank you very much and uh, well, fair, wing and, uh, fair winds and following seas uh, for uh, your future. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you too. Captain Gomez, good morning. Good morning. You are the new commanding officer of uh, vessel uh, Jacques Chevalier. Uh, what is your feeling this morning? Ah, for sure, I'm really proud to, uh, to be uh, the new commanding officer of Jacques Chevalier. You know, I formerly was commanding officer of the Marne, which is also uh, a uh, refueler uh, from the Navy. But uh, Jacques Chevalier uh, has uh, taken place uh, instead of the, of the Marne. It's the old generation. And it is really, really impressive to see uh, the capacities of Jacques Chevalier, which are about twice uh, uh, in comparison of the, of the Marne. What is next? For you, your crew, and your ship. And 
next step for for the for the ship will be a repairing period of uh, about one month and then uh, we'll uh, switch to uh, the next carrier strike group deployment around uh, Charles de Gaulle. Well, thank you very much. Fair winds and uh, falling seas, uh, Captain. Thank you. Thank you, Naval News. Thank you.